We got ourselves together team one together with Amarok as an elemental shaman. We've got Flamin on the team as a destruction warlock. Harambe on the demonology. Jash and Narius over on the warrior. Oh yeah, Jash, I think I remember you from like a week ago, right? Fuck looking good. We got ourselves shady. Are you still gonna be invisible when you dismount? I feel like you we do see you whenever you mount up, but as soon as you remove yourself, you're just a ghost. Beatman over for the team too. Double enhanced shaman with Chicago in the back. We got ourselves Jujutsu as well as Sensei. Double Monkas and Diabolicus waiting his turn as a Demonology Warlock. Is it going to be beat first? Looks like they're sending out beat off the bat on the beaten path. Is it on the beaten path or off the beaten path? As Josh goes in for a restealth immediately with that Shadow Mode. I guess you could save Shadow Mode for later as a warrior. But like, or you could just... Use it now. Beatman is going to go for a bit of a knockup on the Jazz. It's going to add a little bit of damage, but it's going to be leap. But Jazz does not even reflect for that elemental blast. Trying to go for big bleeds on the Beatman, who is going to go for a wall. Big Sunder by the Shaman as Jazz looking to catch up a little bit of healing. Got himself a little bit of that enraged gem, but no more trinket anymore. Beatman does end up using a lot of his defenses just to fight versus Jazz. Is going to go for a little bit of extra health together with enraged regen as well as impending victory. Charging back in towards Beat together with the reflect. Got himself a lot of damage, but does he get to reconnect? Is Beatman trying to see if he can just kind of bail away? Hit him with a frost shock. Ellen Blast is knocking the back. Just trying to kind of limit his approach. He's going to go for a hex as he charges in to deny him any kind of damage. I think until Beatman can get him some bit more Maelstrom. The Wolfies do fade. Stormbolt onto the Shaman. Jash gets himself an opportunity to at least get some damage done. But it's going to be a big Storm Shock. Or Storm. <laughs> what is it called? Storm uh, Shockwave to follow. I forget about Shockwave. Oh my god. And Ellen Blast from Beatman as he's looking for a better recovery. I am not used to Warriors running Shockwave as they're like one of the primary stuns by the way they made it so the shockwave is an actual three second stun so it's about similar in duration as like if not a four second stun it's about the same if not similar duration to a stormbolt right and it can also be a hundred percent crit so it can do quite a bit of damage and does quite a lot of damage too gonna be a soul ripped out of beatman trying to go for a bit of blast but it's actually gonna have his damage uh, reduced by 25 percent while his soul is severed from his body his healing as well as damage is reduced by 25 percent so flaming can use that in order to rip out the soul during his offensives or when beatman is trying to go on the defensive you can actually put some pressure on the guy kind of like a mortal strike effect together with a big fine big curse of weakness type of thing gonna be portals open up for flame and you definitely need to go for like a triple portal combo if you if he wants to go for the big go does end up using a wall really early so for beatman this is the perfect opportunity just need to make sure he got himself a little bit extra sustain as long as he got himself past the sustain like the healing spring totem like that's gonna help him out a ton this is going to be a little bit of a hiding behind the pillar. Beatman got a full root onto Flamin. Big blasters onto Flamin. Who is going to go for a big Warlock Soulstone? Hellstone boarding back for a second. Does Beatman chase or does he back up? Looks like he's going to back up for a little bit. Just going for a big blasters onto Flamin. He got himself a shot of burn together with fear. Could go for the Succubus. You see Beatman, as long as he's actually careful with the Succubus, he may be okay. Flamin got himself plenty of defense just in order to mitigate that elemental blast flying into his face. As Beatman trying to see if he can find himself a little bit of survivability. Mortal Coil around the corner. Got himself a little bit of damage onto those pets. Into a second, but you see a trinket side of its under onto Flamin. Force him to trick it out of him. As an Inferno goes crashing down onto the Shaman. More portals open up for Flamin. As a big elemental blast does give him opportunity here. I think Soul got to put that on Shaman, but it's still completely damage to Flamin. Flamin had no hope whatsoever. The Ghost Raptors do work as an incinerator goes flying in. Nothing that Flamin could do at the end as Beatman just absolutely clobbered him down. It's going to go for a light lasso off of them <laughs> but he can't even go anywhere amarok trying to see if he can no knock in the back but the santa told him ping pong the back end trying to see if he can break the tether of that light lasso but the guy can't literally go anywhere at all it's gonna be a knock back into amarok as the stormkeeper is arriving for amarok Beatman does not drop down on ground and turn for that one. I feel like that would have been a perfect situation, but he's got plenty of healing, only three minutes, almost four minutes into the duel, 15% dampener, plenty of opportunity for the Enhancement Shaman to at least keep himself afloat. And Amarok also has plenty of healing to work with. As long as he can disconnect from Beatman, he'll be always A-OK. -okay. Beatman got himself Ghost Raptors, charging in, big Sunder to follow. You should be careful because there's going to be stuns, there's going to be knockbacks, there's going to be a lot out of Amarok. As he's trying to see if he can reposition behind the pillar, there's going to be a mad Ellen Blast sent into Amarok as he tries to send in a Primordial. Maybe he wants to go for big Lava Burst. That's going to be a Grounded Totem for a second. He used to break past the Totem as best as possible. It is going to be short stun by the Earth Elementals. Amarok catches himself a little bit of healing. Stun onto Beatman. Most likely going to be a second stun. It's going to eat the Capacitor. Doesn't end up eliminating it last second. Just having to go for a Burrow to break out of that uh, Static Totem. 
knock up into Amarok, trying to go for knockback, but I don't think beat many even money where I think it's the root totem that ends up at him. Mad Ely Blast almost took down Amarok. He lived like to health. Burrow right after. Does Beat Man have anything for this one? He just needs to get the guy to pop up for a second. Oh, doesn't even matter. I think honestly it was a ghosty rapture that just ended up cloning the guy as soon as he popped back up. He had no health whatsoever. Harambe is up next. Demonology Warlock who just absolutely decimated through the competition earlier today. Bateman trying to see if he go for a knockback doesn't quite get Harambe and it's gonna end up rooting some of these pets over on the platform on top of the tombstone gonna be a big tyrant joining Sunder to follow Bateman got another to survive this oh the tyrant has got himself so much freedom so much open space with a big crippling slow onto the shell but can't escape the thing whatsoever but you see that a couple extra casts the short term line side couple of casts and it's over and taking a lot of the demonic momentum onto Yujitsu. Yujitsu trying to see if he close the gap but looks like he's porting a whole place honestly it looked like he was right next to Harambe with a roll but I guess he wasn't. Harambe is going to be able to set himself up, get himself full portal as well as the gateway next to the tombstone right here on the uphill of the Lordaeron Arena. Karma early on for Yujitsu does get himself an interrupt on the Harambe. Still plenty of opportunity for him to go for a defensive together with the Dark Pact as well as Reflect. Trying to see if he can maybe reflect any damage out of Yujitsu. I don't really know what you can reflect. Maybe some of the Zuen action. Big damage onto Yujitsu. Got himself damp and harm. Fear to follow right after. Gonna be Harambe catching up a little bit of healing. Definitely needs to make sure he's stabilized for the next competitor. And Yujitsu does get himself a diffused magic, which maybe he can use in order to lift Harambe. But so much damage out of this warlock is physical with all these pets. Together with Demon Dog, his Felguard, as well as the Viafleet, all cloning at Yujitsu. All physical damage. It's a nice mix of damage. Even as Yujitsu trying to see, oh yeah, that's what you can do. Maybe the Imps, you can reduce some of that damage. But a Felguard walking in with a Legion Strike, there's nothing you can do with that diffused magic. You literally can't stop it. I think it may be like, besides Hunters, the only caster that deals this much physical damage. Diabolical is trying to go for a bit of demonology as well. Got himself full tyrant of the way. That's going to be tyrant as well for Harambe. Just to make sure he's controlling these pets as best as possible. As long as he can somehow deal with a tyrant from Diabolicals. Looks like the tyrant is following. Look at Harambe. But he's not attacking him. Wait a second. The tyrant oh, from Diabolicals does nothing. He's literally just waddling after Harambe. Not hitting him. And Diabolicals is the one taking all the damage. What is going on? That's going to be big observer. Mortal sent in. Diabolicals trying to see if he can survive here. Harambe. I don't know how whatsoever. Looks like he does go for some the. the enemy cast versus Diabolicus and does get beamed down by the observer even SP Shady is already getting beamed down as we speak as Diabolicus at no hope whatsoever silence to fall and try to go for wood eruption this way Shady needs to be extra careful Axos could be bad does go for disperse you see to let the dots take Diabolicus you see a little bit more damage on him just all he needs is just an execute or two as Diabolicus got no hope SP Shady playing it careful playing it safe probably the right way to do so does end up going for a couple of deaths onto the warlock to take him out definitely i think it was a good idea to go back behind the pillar couple of those flash shields burn some of that mana recover make sure you're extra safe because the warlocks can definitely easily snowball i guess just about any class and especially shadow piece like if you misplay it casting a shadow spell get axe toss on it blocked out of disperse like there's just nothing you could do Trinket immediately fear onto Sensei with a Sun to follow. Shady better be extra careful. He got a lot of luck to really work with here. Sensei just take it up completely. Just trying to see if he can take it down. Try to go for the Panda Rachel at the end, but couldn't really take down Sensei at that point. And the monk is able to take him down. My goodness, dude. Bateman does break out with three. Oh, Harambe trying to see if he can claw back for this team little by little, bit by bit. But Diabolicals was able to turn around on him very quickly. That Observer Demon, I really think changes the dynamic between like how casters PvP against one another.